Harvesting season is here, and both farmers and first responders are being reminded of the importance of safety. They tell our Stoker Wise Zorak about the importance of the safety measures they take. He's live with more. Stoker. Yes, Sean. Professionals say everything from the height to the gases that accumulate can serve deadly consequences if not taking the proper precautions. Farmers in our area say they are keeping busy, bringing in fields of crops grown soon to be on people's kitchen tables. They note the amount of safety measures on their equipment to prevent injury or death. They say this includes ladder cages on silos, respirators, working with a partner, and air blowers to ventilate gases from the crops. Dairy farmer Megan Hostetler says these precautions are easy to miss and can be why we see harvesting related deaths each year. Sometimes um, making sure that that run seems like it's an extra step that you don't want to do, but it can be very necessary to get that out of there. The gases can hang around for um, even longer than three weeks, but three weeks is usually what we say. Um, that the gases can be very uh, harmful. This comes shortly after a 55-year-old York County man was found dead in the unloading chute of a corn silo on September 3rd. Last year, a similar incident in Center County where a father and his two sons were found dead in a silo due to the gases. Somerset County EMA Director Joel Landis is sharing how you can help prepare not only yourself, but first responders who may be needed. If there are farms uh, that have uh, certain hazards, uh, to please reach out to their, their local emergency responders and uh, so they get familiar with those farms uh, ahead of responding there. Landis says to also watch out for an increase of farm machinery on roads. Hostetler says that if the corn silage's quality is less than expected, that that can play into a factor of the cause of these deadly gases. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stoker Wysorek, 6 News.